I've always been quite interested in sort of grounding the subjects of my paintings within sort of a historical context. And I'd always been sort of aware that there was a period of time where ferns were, you know, everywhere and really celebrated. So I just did a bit of a sort of a deep dive into all things ferns for a while and ended up sort of stumbling into this sort of rabbit hole of everything to do with the Terridomania period from the 1800s into the 1900s. I can see some similarities between the Terridomania sort of cult-like status of the fern and the way we have sort of ebbs and flows of different trends happening today. Uh, I think probably the big difference I see though is that while we seem to have very short-term trends and fads at the moment, there was this the interesting thing about the fern craze was how sustained it was and it was, you know, decades of this sort of adoration of a plant and it really came to influence a really wide breadth of society from sort of architecture to engineering to horticulture to fashion even through to dating and relationships. I didn't sort of set out to particularly be a landscape painter but I've just always liked being in sort of beautiful landscapes and painting them. And I think for me, the thing that I like about sort of dense landscapes is that there's so much detail and there's so much information. So for me as an artist, it's not about, it's never about imagining something or, or creating a subject, everything's there. And the interesting part for me then is about an editing process of deciding what I want to show or what I want to reduce. This commission has definitely extended my practice. It's been incredibly rewarding to see my works in this setting. And I don't think any kind of amount of sort of, you know, anything can kind of prepare you for how much that boosts your confidence. And as an artist, it's been really wonderful to kind of have the opportunity to show these works here.